The Great Reset began trending on Twitter after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said the pandemic had provided an opportunity for a reset. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change, he added. The World Economic Forum's Great Reset Initiative is picking up steam on Twitter. The Great Reset is basically the organization's plan to impose socialism on the world, and the World Economic Forum wants to use the pandemic as a reason to do so. So, what is the Great Reset? The Great Reset is a massively funded, desperately ambitious, internationally coordinated project led by some of the biggest multinational corporations and financial players on the planet and carried out by cooperating state bodies and NGOs. Its soul is a combination of early 20th century science fiction, idyllic Soviet posters, the obsessiveness of a deranged accountant with a gambling addiction, and an upgraded, digital version of Manifest Destiny. The Great Reset has been planned for years. The pandemic is just a warm up to drive everyone into a digital currency for the elite to control all banks and individual transactions. The Great Reset, it's just the elites rebranding themselves. The current system is running out of things for them to loot, so a new system is required to finish off the middle class. This new system is the same old, same old, consisting of lords and us, the serfs. Globalist Klaus Schwab made it clear that transhumanism is an integral part of the Great Reset. When he said that the fourth industrial revolution would lead to a fusion of our physical, digital, and biological identity, which in his book he clarifies as implantable microchips that can read your thoughts. The internet sure has been buzzing about the Great Reset lately. That term has been trending on Facebook and Twitter, and the New York Times even published an article dismissing it as a conspiracy theory. But it is definitely no conspiracy theory. I was determined to get to the bottom of this whole thing, and I am going to share the facts that the New York Times either could not find or refused to share. It turns out that the Great Reset is actually an initiative that was started by the World Economic Forum that is designed to get global stakeholders to cooperate in simultaneously managing the direct consequences of the pandemic crisis. The following comes directly from the official website of the World Economic Forum. There is an urgent need for global stakeholders to cooperate in simultaneously managing the direct consequences of the pandemic crisis. To improve the state of the world, the World Economic Forum is starting the Great Reset Initiative. So, the New York Times put out fake news when they told all of us that the Great Reset is just a conspiracy theory, and they owe all of us a major apology. According to the World Economic Forum, the Great Reset is a unique window of opportunity for global leaders to shape the future state of global relations, the direction of national economies, the priorities of societies, the nature of business models, and the management of a global commons. As we enter a unique window of opportunity to shape the recovery, this initiative will offer insights to help inform all those determining the future state of global relations, the direction of national economies, the priorities of societies, the nature of business models, and the management of a global commons. Drawing from the vision and vast expertise of the leaders engaged across the forum's communities, the Great Reset Initiative has a set of dimensions to build a new social contract that honors the dignity of every human being. In other words, the Great Reset is essentially just an updated blueprint for a new world order. The man behind the Great Reset is named Klaus Schwab. He is the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, and elsewhere on the official site of the WEF, there is an article by Schwab entitled, Now is the Time for a Great Reset. The following is an excerpt from that article. To achieve a better outcome, the world must act jointly and swiftly to revamp all aspects of our societies and economies, from education to social contracts and working conditions. Every country, from the United States to China, must participate, and every industry, from oil and gas to tech, must be transformed. In short, we need a great reset of capitalism. He is very open about the fact that he wants to revamp all aspects of our societies and economies. That means that all aspects of human activity would fall under his plan. But in particular, he very much wants a great reset of capitalism. That definitely sets off alarm bells. When people start talking about dramatic changes to capitalism, usually what they mean is that we should move even more in the direction of socialism. According to Schwab, there are three main components to the great reset. 
The first involves reforming our economic system so that they will promote more equitable outcomes. Moreover, governments should implement long overdue reforms that promote more equitable outcomes. Depending on the country, these may include changes to wealth taxes, the withdrawal of fossil fuel subsidies, and new rules governing intellectual property, trade, and competition. Unfortunately, I think that he means the exact same thing that Alexandria Ocasio Cortez means when she talks about more equitable outcomes. Secondly, Schwab says that one of the main components of the Great Reset would involve massive government investments in green, urban infrastructure and other similar projects. The second component of a Great Reset agenda would ensure that investments advance shared goals, such as equality and sustainability. Here, the large scale spending programs that many governments are implementing represent a major opportunity for progress. The European Commission, for one, has unveiled plans for a €750 billion, Euros, $826 billion recovery fund. The US, China, and Japan also have ambitious economic stimulus plans. Rather than using these funds, as well as investments from private entities and pension funds, to fill cracks in the old system, we should use them to create a new one that is more resilient, equitable, and sustainable in the long run. This means, for example, building green, urban infrastructure and creating incentives for industries to improve their track record on environmental, social, and governance ESG metrics. Doesn't that sound a whole lot like the Green New Deal that many on the left have been pushing here in the United States? Thirdly, Schwab envisions applying the innovations that we have witnessed during the pandemic as a model for every sector of society. The third and final priority of a Great Reset agenda is to harness the innovations of the fourth industrial revolution to support the public good, especially by addressing health and social challenges. During the pandemic crisis, Companies, universities, and others have joined forces to develop diagnostics, therapeutics, and possible vaccines, establish testing centers, create mechanisms for tracing infections, and deliver telemedicine. Imagine what could be possible if similar concerted efforts were made in every sector. In other words, Schwab thinks that the global response to the pandemic can be a blueprint for governing every area of our lives moving forward. Doesn't that sound just wonderful? Of course in order for the globalists to get the United States on board with this Great Reset, they will need to get Donald Trump out of the way first, and they think that they are very close to achieving that goal. The globalists envision a sustainable future in which all forms of human activity are very closely monitored and controlled for the good of the planet. They are entirely convinced that a global system in which all the nations of the world are increasingly integrated is what is best for humanity, but those of us that are resisting the globalists understand that a one-world system will inevitably evolve into a complete and utter global nightmare. Globalist publications such as the New York Times will continue to try to convince all of us that plans such as, the Great Reset, do not even exist, even as globalist organizations such as the World Economic Forum are publicly announcing their plans right out in the open. In times like these, it is absolutely imperative to think for yourself, because deception is everywhere and those that tell the truth are often greatly ridiculed. Their great reset turns the earth into a giant open-air prison with the elites free to do anything and the proles free to sicken and die. They have been threatening a 90% reduction in population for oh, about 40 years. Prince Philip wants to be reincarnated as a deadly virus. They're all mad. How can anyone support this? This was the Nomad Economist. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.